All right, this is Mr. Wallace again with our Algebra 1 semester uh, unit test review. This is Unit 2. I'm going to be doing numbers 5 and 6 on page 7. So page 7 uh, for numbers 5 and 6. Uh, so number 5, here we go. The function f of x is a linear function and has the following attributes. Notice there is nothing going on here. So we are going to create a function. We are creating a line, basically. So we do have a lot of options. Okay? The first attribute is a negative slope. So for it to have a negative slope, that means it is going down left to right. So it's kind of like reading a book. Uh, we read from left to right, so a negative slope is going down. Second attribute is that it has a y-intercept of negative 4. Oh, man. That means it crosses the y-axis at negative 4. So that coordinate point is 0, comma, negative 4. So let's just draw a point right there where on my y-axis of negative 4. And guys, guess what? All we have to do is have a line that goes through that point with a negative slope. It is up to you. You can draw it not that steep at all, or you can draw it super steep as long as it is going down left to right. So guess what? That's pretty, not, not a terrible line. I'm not a good artist. So uh, create the function. Guess what? We just did. Negative slope, y-intercept of negative 4. Okay, next one. Multiple choice. Here we go. Which graph represents the function f of x equals 2x minus 1? That's just the same thing as y equals 2x minus 1. f of x and y uh, are interchangeable. So this equation right here is in slope-intercept form. And we've done so much slope-intercept form. So in slope-intercept form, the m value is the slope of my line, and that b right value right there represents the y-intercept. So my slope is going to be 2 based on this equation, and my y-intercept is going to be negative 1. So I want to look at these equations, or I'm sorry, these lines, which ones have a y-intercept of negative 1? Well, not A. Uh, let's see, not C. So B has a y-intercept of negative 1, and D has a y-intercept of negative 1. Now we just have to look at the slope. If I have a slope of 2, that means my slope is up 2 over 1. Because 2 as a fraction is 2 over run, 2 over 1. So 2 is my rise, 1 is my run. So I'm going up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. If I look at D from that point, negative 1, which is my starting point, am I going up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over No, that is a not a slope of 2 line. So just by process of elimination, we know our final answer is B. Well, let's confirm it, right? I have a y-intercept of negative 1. It is up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Guess what? We found our line. All right, thank you so much. This was number 5 and 6 on page 7.